Welcome back my friend, this is your host Neil Cross playing No nothing, actually no. This is a tutorial as you can see at the title and this video is not sponsored or anything but I just got a new mouse, the Air the Aerox 9 wireless as you can see and I'm doing this because you already saw the title and yeah, you're probably having this same freaking problem that I had with this mouse. I just received, I just did the update, the mouse is running perfectly, it's pretty interesting because I was my MMO, the, let me give you a little context, I'm using this to play Black Desert Online, but I need to do, I need to do some setups first, I, I need to make a, a little setup, I did it. And that's why I'm making this video, because I encounter a problem while doing the setup for my default configuration. Because the default configuration requires some macros, like this one, that allows me to switch over different... Uh, open the all the windows, etc. And the problem with those kind, with those macros, is... When you try to create a new macro, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me just go a 15 delay and start. Let's say I, I want to do open all the tabs, uh, spread out all the tabs, so I can see all my all my windows uh, open, which is uh, window key plus tab plus. No, it's just window key plus plus tab and the problem when you try to do a macro with that one in here is as you can see the tab button was only shown as the lift up not the pressing down like this one or this one so this macro is not useful this one does not work I already did one uh, refresh window um, windows windows yeah, this card. This is the correct way of doing this one. How did I do it? Well, it's actually way, way easier than you think. You're probably destroying your head and maybe raging, thinking that this shit is not working, they should fix. Yeah, I definitely agree with you, they should fix this. But let me show you how you can make the macro. No, wait, key spread macro, this one, okay. The trick is, you need how many keys do you need for this one? You only need two. So you start, you go A, B, A, S. You do the right amount of clicking that you need, the clicks that you need. Oh, I'm sorry, let me change. I should have just changed the delay in here, but here you go. A, S, and you release. Now, once you stop the recording, you can switch over the key. That is the trick. You double click this one, you click the Windows mouse, you go back, you double click this one, you click the tap mouse, and you got it. Now this, actually, I'm gonna show you. Save, I'm gonna put this one, rename, test. Now, close this one, and I'm gonna be putting my, where is the, this one, the CPI, which is this exactly, this exact thing. Uh, where is the test? There you go, done, save, and it's working just as the one I did before. So, this is a short video. This is gonna be a short video, I'm not gonna be delaying anything anymore, but in general, all of your macros can be done by doing any any uh, key combination as long as you do the amount of keys that you need for example if you need to switch over to the next desktop which is control uh, windows and either left or right on the on your keyboard if you do this it's not working as you can see the right only put the lift up and that does not work. I'm got, I, I'm, I can show you right away. Just you're not gonna take any second. Let's see. Test. Go. Not doing anything. No, not doing anything. I have this too. 
already done, but this one is not working. So how do you fix this? Simple. As I said before, you need in this one you need three keys. So you go, you do the exact same gesture as doing the three keys, but I'm gonna replace them by uh, Z, X, N, V. Why? Because the position of my mouth on my hand is just good for that. So I go Z, X, and V. Z, you have to take in consideration that Z for me is control, X for me is windows, and V for me is arrow to the right or to the left. So you only double click it here. Control, double clicking here, Windows, click it again so it takes off this one, and you double click this one and you put it on left or right as you want. Save, close this, you go test, done, save, and now this is working. You see? I know you probably, if you are watching this, well, this is your, <laughs> this is probably gonna take off that headache you're having with this program because this is not intuitive this is to be honest this is very bad no, they need to fix this thing they need to fix this and or at least explain how to do it well i guess that's my job for you <laughs> that's my job doing it right now so let's just recapitulate really fast if you want to Make a macro that requires a window key, a tab, or a control key, you're gonna have trouble. So the best thing you can do is what I just show you, and lucky for you, now you know how to do it. I hope you enjoy this content. I hope this really freaking helps you because I was I just received this mouse. I'm not gonna be doing any review of it right now because I have about 10 mouse mices and most of them I use it for FPS, MMOs and Knockout City. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you. I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember macros on me and holy crap please still serious beautiful mouse the mouse glides like beautifully on my on my on my desk on my desk but fix this shit like seriously fix it so i'll see you guys on the next one macros on me and i'll be recording and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and go check out all these videos i have more than a thousand videos of just on the city and many other games so go check it out <laughs>